What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode and today we are going to be reviewing the bait ball spinner rig by Live Target. Let's get it. It was um, it was all different colors, and it was even all these ants. It was in a uh, it was in a uh, it was in like a a little like pail bucket with um, another kind of live target bait. I think it was actually like the like the live swim bait thing. I don't know, but it was another live target bait. But uh, I decided to pick this one up. It looked the juiciest to me. So onto the bait itself, we decided to go with kind of like a purplish. Uh, like a purplish like shiner shiny color thought it most resembled you know the more complex colors are like bluegill or you know other little bait fish that I've seen swimming around down here where I'm at at least so yeah so back to where I got it so I picked it up at Dick's it was on sale surprisingly the sale price was like $9.79 or something like that and uh you know i thought it looked cool so i decided to pick it up and i said you know maybe i might do a review on this one day so here we are and uh, we're finally doing the review on it so so the bait is essentially it's different from an alabama rig which is you have or the umbrella rig is different than that where the umbrella rig is set up with put up to i think around six i don't know maybe sometimes more swim baits individual swim baits onto one rig and they all act as individual um, targets or bait whereas the spinner rig is set up more so like a traditional uh, spinner bait where you know there's tie this puppy on and uh yeah also got that flash vibration action going on so you know hopefully that helps us land some more fish is interchangeable system so yeah so you can interchange these as well um, which is pretty cool you can uh you can buy packs and interchange the colors the flash and vibration deflection so apparently it's supposed to deflect off of uh that looks like some brush and this is the the half ounce mo model i'm assuming the m is for medium and interchangeable system so yeah there you go let's do some fish the water i'll show you guys what it looks like in the water here in a sec uh, when we get down there but first always do the anglers Absolutely forever. Okay. Nice cast, bud. What's up, bud? What's that up? You got, you got the uh, Black Max? I might have the same thing. Yep. Okay. Nice, man. You must know what you're doing there. <laughs> hey, good luck, bud. It's 318 right now, so we'll just cast out. We'll let it sink. I'll give it a four Mississippi. Oh wow, that looks good. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, I mean, it looks legit. It looks annoying. If I was a bass, I would just get pissed off looking at it and absolutely destroy it. So hopefully that's what happens. We'll keep casting. That was the first cast, but we'll keep casting. And uh, maybe I might get a better shot of it when we move, okay, move spots. But, uh, yeah, this is mostly a review, so if I don't catch fish, I don't catch fish, but 
Um, I just want to talk about the bait and just, uh, you know, walk you guys through my impressions of it. So let's get back to fishing. Always, always, always. If you live somewhere where there's fire ants, always look out for it. Okay, here's. Literally, I stood in the anthill one time and I didn't know it. And it was like my one of my first, like, really I had no experience with, you know, the south, not much. And, dude. I stood on the anthill for like a whole minute and the next thing I noticed was just like these little tangles in my foot. And I went down, dude. My shoe was just freaking, just freaking swarm with ants. Was, there's nothing I could do but just like take my shoe off and just take your shoes off, start dancing, man. You start patting your feet. That's all you could do. And two, it's like, you know, three o'clock right now. So time could be a factor. But I mean, it's a, it's a decent day though. Overcast-ish, breezy. Oh, so breezy, so nice. Yeah, that cat's got some of these. And that was kind of one of my concerns too, um, especially when there's a little bit of wind. You know, how well does this do with casting out and not getting all tangled up? Wait, how did that happen? So the, f oh, I see, there we are. Okay. So far it's been pretty good about not getting too tangled up. My cast. Oh my gosh. All right, Jay, Jeremiah, it's time to learn how to cast. Right here is why you can see I picked off the color I did. They're a purplish color. Since these baits are a little smaller out here, or since these baits on the rigs are a little smaller, I decided to go with kind of like that baby fish color. You can't really go wrong with something that's flashing. Not really able to see the color too much. You just don't see the flash for the most part. But one thing I am finding now is that it is really good at it's good at bouncing over objects because you know I could run into a, I could feel it running over like a branch or something in the water and goes right over it, protects the hook. And I want this bait to sink as close to the bottom as possible because with the weather being how it's been, that's where a lot of the fish are gonna be hanging out, close to the bottom where the water's a lot cooler. All right, we're gonna make a move and uh, we're gonna keep fishing up. everything down just for me much appreciated make sure there's no snakes a stork or whatever that thing is called might have been bumping into some branches over there but i mean that goes to show how good this bait is at bouncing off of uh debris bouncing off of debris and you know down trees and logs stuff like that i'm doing a great job so far oh that was a bite Come back for it. That was a bite. First bite on the live target. First bite on the live target. Let's get it back in here. He may have got the wrong. He may have actually gotten the wrong uh, swim or paddle tail. Cause it felt like he had it in his mouth, but not the right one. Oh man, I just need to catch one fish on this thing. And the, the unbox, review, and catch challenge will be complete. I think that's gonna be a thing on this channel. Buy, unbox, review. Uh, buy, unbox, catch, review. There you go. Buy, unbox, catch, review. Yeah, I like that. All right, that's better. Man, I was on freaking linear the whole time. Yeah, a lot of guys are scared of snakes and alligators out here, but me, I'm probably most afraid of ant heels. Ooh, that was a nice backhand cast right there. target. Someone's already lost a bobber. I can't lose you. Come on, I hope this twig can snap. Oh my gosh. It snapped at the knot. 
freaking uni. Oh, man. Well, man, that, I feel defeated. <laughs> that sucks. That sucks. Um, yeah, well, we're not going to be able to complete today's challenge. If I had like some, uh, you know, wader boots or something, I wouldn't mind stepping onto the water. We're just going to call it puts for the bait. Yeah, man. Man, that blows. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today's video. So, a quick little review. Uh, live target bait ball. I think it's a decent alternative if you want to switch it up from just a regular spinner bait. The action was pretty good. Um, it did have like a lot of like side to side wobble. You know, that side to side wobble looks a little unnatural because it's not like just a straight, kind of like a straight line swim with like, just the tail paddling. It's kind of like a whole wobble. Yeah, I don't know how that will look funky in the water to the fish or anything like that, but um, something I noticed. And uh, yeah, that's all this little bother. I thought it was a good bait. I think it's a great alternative if you want to switch it up from a spinner bait. Try to find it on sale. I got it on sale. But with any kind of bait, you know, accidents happen and you just lose bait. Don't feel too bad if you don't want to drop the 979 I paid for it. Um, and I ain't even got it like that. But, you know, it happens. So, another point, don't look at it as if it's, uh, you know, to save your bait. You got to throw it in the right condition. The right time of day and weather conditions. So, but yeah man so yeah so that's gonna be the video today if you guys did enjoy this particular video then just go ahead and do me a favor do me a solid go ahead and hit that like button for me it'll help spread the word help other people see this video um and if you guys did see some things that i could have done better some tips you guys want to leave me some of your opinions on the bait maybe if you've used it or you got questions for me that i didn't really answer or get into in this video um go ahead and leave a comment down below and i'll make sure to get to you for sure if you guys do just like me and the channel in general um and you like where the channel is going you know each video is getting better with the editing and the lighting and the audio <laughs> If you do like what you see, then consider subscribing down below. And if you do consider subscribing, then go ahead and tap that notification bell so that you can get updated whenever I post a new video. With that being said, I'm going to get off my soapbox. Thank you guys very, very much. It's been crazy out there, so stay safe. And um, yeah, guys, that's all I got. Peace. Happened. I was on the anthill.